Rejoice, O heavens, and exult, O earth, for our Lord will come to show mercy to his poor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said, Gather round, sons of Jacob, and listen. Listen to Israel, your father. Judah, your brothers, shall praise you. You grip your enemies by the neck. Your father's sons shall do you homage. Judah is a lion cub. You climb back, my son, from your kill. Like a lion, he crouches and lies down, or a lioness who dare arouse him. The scepter shall not pass from Judah, nor the mace from between his feet, until he come to whom it belongs, to whom the people shall render obedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. In his days justice shall flourish, and peace till the moon fails. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. May the mountains bring forth peace for the people and the hills justice. May he defend the poor of the people and save the children of the needy. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. He shall rule from sea to sea from the great river to earth's bounds. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. May his name be blessed forever and endure like the sun. Every tribe shall be blessed in him. All nations bless his name. In his days justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fails. Please stand to acclaim the gospel. Wisdom of the Most High, ordering all things with strength and gentleness, come and teach us the way of truth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the beginning of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. A genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez and Zerah, Tamar being their mother. Perez was the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram was the father of Aminadab, Aminadab the father of Nashon, Nashon, the father of Salmon. Salmon was the father of Boaz, Rahab being his mother. Boaz was the father of Obed, Ruth being his mother. Obed was the father of Jesse, and Jesse was the father of King David. 
David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been Uriah's wife. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asa, Asa was the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Azariah, Azariah was the father of Jotam, Jotam the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah was the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Ammon, Ammon the father of Josiah, and Josiah was the father of Jeconiah and his brothers. Then the deportation to Babylon took place. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah was the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel was the father of Abiud, Abiud the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Ezor. Ezor was the father of Zadok, Zadok the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud was the father of Eliezer, Eliezer the father of Matan, Matan the father of Jacob, and Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. The sum of generations is therefore 14 from Abraham to David, 14 from David to the Babylonian deportation, and 14 from the Babylonian deportation to Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. I pray to Christ, divine wisdom in human form, that he will transform our lack of wisdom. We pray for the church that all our leaders open their hearts to be taught by Christ the true way of salvation. The Lord, hear us. For the leaders of our country, that they be blessed with wisdom and integrity, so as to allow all the citizens to live in peace and harmony. The Lord, hear us. For all throughout the world who live in darkness and confusion and doubt, that they be led into the light of the truth which is Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. Amen. And we pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. And we pray for all who have died. Remember those whose anniversaries are today, Edwin Hughes, Erish Black, John Kelly, and Joe Bailey Sr. And we pray for Sadie Hamill of Woodside Green, who died yesterday, who remains reposing in Quinn's funeral home today. Her funeral mass is tomorrow at 11 here in St. John the Baptist. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, to the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, our kind and loving Father, with sureness and confidence coming from Christ, we bring you all our needs for your blessing. Out of your great love, send us again Jesus, your Son and our Lord. Grant that we may welcome him with deep love, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. All is and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gifts that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant, Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Saviour's command and poem by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As usual for the distribution of communion, I will begin by distributing to those on my right hand, middle aisle, while the minister starts over here at the Stations of the Cross side, and only when he has finished there and moved over to the choir side will I then be able to distribute to those on my left hand, middle aisle.
Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And at the end of our Mass, as we gradually make our way through Advent on this Friday evening, we will have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament for a period of about half an hour, during which time the Knights of St. Columbanus will lead you in prayer with some nice appropriate reflections. 